Hi everybody, I'm going to show you how to um, assemble the uh, Invivo Soundoc 10 HD Bluetooth upgrade kit. You can see the features and how to use it on the other videos. This is just uh, involves the procedure to go from this thing, which is the old iPod 30 pin adapter, how to reuse this plastic mouldings, remove the internal parts, and then install the uh, contents of this box into there so that then you can clip this back into your Soundoc 10 and enjoy high definition lossless digital link all the way through to the sound process of your Soundoc uh, Bluetooth basically audiophile HD Bluetooth if you're interested in listening to a good quality sound, um, then you know what I'm talking about. Anyway, so inside the box, what's in the box? What um, tools you're going to need first? You're going to need probably a sharp knife or something like a, one of these, a craft knife basically with a sharp blade. A scalpel or a very sharp pair of small side cutters, okay? And they need to be the flush cut side cutters with that part there comes down to a point so when I cut flat against something the actual cutting edge is rubbing against the surface if you've got side cutters which aren't flush cut then they have a bevel on the inside of the blade and you're cutting too high and you won't be able to pick up the pegs which I'm going to show you in a moment I'll demonstrate using all three so that um, you can decide your weapon of choice now uh, what have we got yeah so to convert this this thing you'll recognize it into this thing we need this kit SD10 HD IBC 1028 Rev 01 kit okay uh, there are so what's inside this box okay let's open her up nice pink bag anti-static got the actual controller there we've got the motherboard, we call this the motherboard. This has got the contacts underneath which uh, spring down to your dock. So this is the lower board that uh, replaces this board in here. You can see, if I turn it over, you can see the similarity there, except it's green rather than blue, okay. Now, um, what else have we got in our bag? Let's just tip out the contents. Throw away the desiccant pack if there is one. Okay, so what we've got is the actual main controller and notice that this has got a protective cover on it okay the actual real thing is all shiny look but there's a pl plastic protective film on it which you can peel off after you've finished your assembly if you want to or you can take it off sooner up to you you've got the main controller you've got the motherboard replacement you can see it's got a very small ribbon cable um, ribbon connector there which is uh, we'll, we'll examine that and explore that in a moment a uh, piece of uh, double-sided sticky, which you need also, yes, you're going to need a pair of scissors to cut up your sticky because you need to cut this into little strips, and I'll show you where the strips go. And then you've got a 16-way 0.5 millimeter pitch umbilical ribbon cable, okay? All these parts are in the box. Well, they should be. If they're not, you can't put it together, so you need to contact us, and someone's made an error somewhere. But we hopefully won't do that to you. Not that unkind. Right, so the first thing we need to do is to um, strip down the uh, the old module, okay? Now if you look very carefully at these, this you can see plastic mushrooms, okay? Now we need to cut those off, they're little pegs that have been heat staked, so they've, the end's been melted over to hold the board in place, okay? There. There. Now, in fact, the board is quite well held in place just by the spring force of the contacts pressing down onto these contact pads. If you look down in the base of your dock, when you've removed this uh, adapter, you can see there's a row of spring contacts. There's a video that involves um, a diagnosis of the sound dock 10 if you have an issue and things to inspect, like a big health check, if you like, to see what's wrong and then maybe... Um, work out whether you need something more than just an adapter for your dock, i.e. if someone spilt liquid in it, you're going to be having a problem, aren't you? Right, so anyway, scalpel mode. We're just going to slice off 
the top. A bit of top slicing, choppy choppy. Are you ready for this? Get a little rocking action. This scalpel is not that sharp, so it might take a little while to go through. Don't worry about damaging the board because you don't want it anymore. And there it's gone. Okay, so I'll do another one with the scalpel just to give you proof that it wasn't a fluke. But you've got to kind of, it's quite hard, it's polycarbonate plastic, so you just need to rock the blade. Yours might be sharper, keep your fingers clear, obviously that goes without saying. You can see it's gone. Right, you can use a bigger knife. This is my craft knife. Just push my thumb like that. And it's gone, alright? So that's craft knife method. Two of those. Or if you can think of a method of your own, then please do let me know. Right, here we go. There we are. It's easy with a craft knife, I would say. And then with the cutters, you can do the same thing. Just snip them off. If you have some cutters, but it's not necessary. That one's not going. So we've got one. Oh, there's one more left, but just there. See, that one's a bit difficult to pick up with the cutters. There you go. All right. Now, so. What you can do next is just go on the other side. And just push this connector out. So hold on to the housing like that. And push and the board comes out. And there's your old connector look. Looking pretty beaten up. Yeah. Okay. So you can put that to one side. We don't need that anymore and then you're left with this now you may or may not have this docking adapter this is a standard apple detail which was a little adapter which came in for ipod nanos and different versions of ipods or iphones and this center section was a different size depending on what kind of uh, product you had so you need to actually lever it from the back get your nail in there push it in that's why i'm pushing it downwards and inwards there you can see there's a clip that engages there Okay, another way to get that out is probably just to get the end of your blade, put it in that slot, and lift it out and ping it out. See it just ping out. Okay, so it comes out quite easily. It's not a big thing. Um, probably best if you clean. If there's a lot of detritus and stuff all around the outside of this this lip here, we're going to use some glue, some adhesive to stick on there to make the. Uh, just to hold the control panel in position once it's in, okay. So just clean it out, get some tissue, give it a wipe. You don't want to put a, a spoiler if you uh, put it back dirty. All right, so there we are. We've got that part prepared now. And what you need to do then is just make sure, to make sure we're not going to have a problem later on, is just test fit this part into the uh, rear of the plastic housing to make sure that the pegs haven't got burrs on when if you come to assemble and you can see make sure you can just push it in okay so it's in it's level with the surface here you can see that surface is now level you can see it's fitted properly so yeah you're not gonna have a problem putting that in you might find that you'll have a burr or where you haven't sliced the pin off cleanly and there might be a big bump on the top of the pin in which case you need to just shave it slightly with your with your knife to make sure that those pins fit up through these holes. They're quite a snug fit. Okay. Now to get it out, you can just uh, push on here, push down, and it pops out. Okay. So no big deal there. Right. The next thing we're going to do is just have a little bit of a training session on this connector because you need to know how this works. In a, it's called a zero in insertion force connector and um, if I just lift the bar up you can see there's a bar and in there you can see the contacts on the bottom so it's a bottom contact okay so there's the contacts right along the bottom All right 
and then we've got this little flippy bar. You can see how small it is from my finger, okay? Now I'm just going to show you, um, most, if you're going to have a problem, um, it's usually to do with ribbon cable. If a customer comes and says, oh, I can't get it to work, and so oh, hold on a minute, let's just check, you haven't plugged the ribbon cable in. You say, which room, that one there, so it's not in straight. I can't see that. I said, well, can you see? And they've got reading glasses on, and ordinary reading glasses, you need good vision to be able to do this, basically. That's the bottom line. Just adjusting the picture to give you a better look at that. Okay, so we've got this little clamp, and when that clamp is in the down position there, the ribbon is then held in position. And when it's up, it isn't. Okay, now here's the ribbon coming down, and now the ribbon has got these contacts on. You can see these. Look, there's 16 bright, shiny contacts. If I just get them in the light, you can see they're metal. Okay, now the ribbon has to go in here. I'm doing this remotely, you can see that it's tricky, but it does have to go in straight, and if you just push it, you've got to line it up, and you'll feel it just go in that little bit extra. Still not in, now it's in, okay? And if I just pull that out parallel, you'll see how far it goes in. But it's not that first little bit, it's that last little um, push you get. And then when it's in, you can push this down. And now that ribbon is locked. Like I'm pulling it now. It won't come out, okay? Now, that's most important you understand that. You understand two things. One thing, that the contacts go downwards facing the board. There they are under there, look, the contacts. I'll just show you that now. There's the contacts under there, you can just about see them. Can you see them? So we're going contacts down. If you put it in upside down, it will not make any contact at all and it won't work, all right? So to just release that for now because this is the last stage, but I'm just showing this connector, it's a bit fiddly, all right? So get that in your mind. Lever up, gently maneuver the cable in until it looks in the right position. Not there, not there, not like that not like that it's got to be in the slot square and then slotted in like that so we've got a nice perpendicular run of the cable this edge is perpendicular to the axis of the connector and when it's in pop the connector pop the locking collar down bollock solid and you're locked in okay it won't give you any trouble but you need to take your time and you need definitely to be able to see what you're doing when you're doing that otherwise you can have trouble all right so let's pop that out because we don't need that in there at the moment. Right, so let's focus back. You've, you've seen how to do that connector. Now I'm going to show you how to do the connector on the back of the controller. And again, we've got a slightly different style of connector here. Um, and you can see it's got the little collar. That's the locking collar on this one. It's got a vertical locking collar that moves out of the top of the connector. You can see it's out. It's out, it's in in out in out this activity going on there you go there's the connector and when I lock the connect cable in it's just a case of pushing this collar down at the sides all right now these connectors are quite tough but surprisingly how many people try and plug the ribbon in without relieving the uh, the collar moving the collar into the open position which is obviously a mistake and the other thing people do, you can see it comes away quite easily, okay? If you start levering this up and you can't see what you're doing, you'll break that collar. It's a gentle operation to get that to come up. Just like that with your nail, okay? So now we're in, we're proud, we're in position. Uh, the entrance is open and now you can see on this connector that the contacts are just there right so if I turn the board around so that we'll call that way the correct way up and you can see if I zoom in can't zoom anymore I might be able to move the connector up to you focus you focusing thing you can see the contacts okay now 
to give that in context, 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 uh, there's the board. You can see the writing is here, the little LEDs are up there, and the part number of the board is up there, and the contacts are this way around. So this ribbon cable has to go in there, like that, with these contacts in contact with those contacts there. If you put it in upside down, it won't work, all right? So let's just pop it in, and then again a wiggle, and you can see it drop down, and then clamp it. And have a look at it and make sure it's standing straight up from the board. Then you're in business. You have engaged the contacts. Right? Check this in squarely. Check that little row of uh, silver contacts are poking out the same amount all the way along the connector. Check that both sides of the locking collar are actually down and pressed in, like so. And then you're in business, okay? Now, so what have we got to do next? Um, right, we've got to apply a little bit of adhesive. I mentioned in here, in the kit, is this little piece of adhesive tape. It's double-sided, it's extremely <laughs> sticky, and you're going to need a pair of scissors, which I forgot to mention at the beginning, but I'm guessing most households be able to rustle up a pair of scissors from the cooking drawer if necessary, or the sewing basket. Just make sure you put it back. Right, so what we're going to do is we're going to cut some slithers of this off. Probably about three millimeters long. A couple of slithers, maybe three. I'm doing this at arm's length, I can't really see what I'm doing to be honest. Right, so now uh, where do they go? They go at this end, you want one slither. It's a lively one that one. You can see you've got two lots of backing on here and you can just peel the backing off the top. It's quite fiddly. Now we're just lining up with the end of the board. He said, changing his glasses, uh, line up with the end of the board. Okay, so that's one piece of sticky. That's to hold this into the actual top of the moulding and it's peelable so you can get it off when you need to, okay? Now, two other bits. There's a, another small piece here. It's not too critical. It just needs to be up against the edge of the board. So I'm going to peel the backing off. Peel off the backing. Just basically stick it over where the... the uh, where the lettering is, up to the edge of the board. Okay. Poking over there, so cut that off. Lovely. And then the third piece goes on the bottom edge. Again, peel. Come on, baby. Right. Okay, so now we have our board with our three pieces of sticky on. It's peelable, so if you ever need to get the thing out, you can do it. So it's quite forgiving adhesive, but it, it holds it there beautifully. We've been using this system on other types of docks for years without any problems at all. So then get your sharp knife and just peel off the... Uh, the backing. There we are. We're exposing the adhesive uh, felt underneath. And again. Come on, baby. All right. So now we've got the assembly ready to be placed into the housing. This thing, right? Now, it's most important you get this right way around, really. Um, this ribbon is going to go down through the slot in the bottom, no problem at all. This is lining up with that. So, if you turn it over, you can see you've got these two dogs on the end, which engage in the sound dock. You put it in like that, and push it, then push this end down, and it goes click and locks in using this uh, spring detail here. Okay. Now, um, 
you want to make sure that this little cutout is on the right hand side and make sure that this little springs at the back and you're okay so we're going to place the control the Bluetooth controller in like so put it through the hole drop it down into position make it sit nice and central and then give it a good push push it in to make sure the glue sticks right so now that's in position. I haven't taken the protective cover off yet. Right, so that's... Alright, so now we've got this. We've got the uh, ribbon cable sticking out the back and we've got our little controlled uh, motherboard, we called it, didn't we, for that goes in the base. You can see that that fits in there. There's a, there's a relief in here and there's a plastic edge just here which that is uh, that relief is intended to avoid okay now so you've got we've got to fit this in with the contacts down do you remember I said contacts downwards so if we hold it like this contacts down onto the board these are the contacts there you can see them contacts down on the board I'm holding it like this and with the finger here and with that there you can maneuver this around and get that in the slot right and then you can hold it in the slot now I'm just going to, so that's how I'm doing it, I'm holding it, my fingers underneath there holding the edge of this, that ribbon, ribbon is secured into the actual controller, and now we're just, you can see you can move it, and you want it to be so that the edge of the ribbon here, this edge, is dead parallel with the side of the board, i.e. The, uh, the ribbon is sitting perpendicularly in to the connector to into the axis uh, relative to the axis axis of the connector the ribbon is perpendicular wrong would be like that wrong would be like that wrong would be like that slightly but it's not fully in correct is you wiggle it you can feel it go in you hold it straight hold it in position so I'm pressing down with this finger clamping the board the ribbon into the connector where I positioned it and then if I just move that down slightly, you can see I can even move it around now. We're going to fold the uh, locking connector into position. Boink, there it goes. So we're locked, it's in. Check it out, nice and straight, that is in there. Don't get it wrong. Make sure you can see, because if you get it wrong, it's not going to work. Well, it probably won't work. Right. Okay, so now we've got the two connected together uh, dangling around you can see it dangle dangle okay now if we turn her over basically what you need to remember is that this connector goes up to the same end as the fingerprint that's the touch sensor by the way explained in the other video so what you do is you just put that in there you can see it's going to put a bend in the ribbon cable which is fine you can bend this thing at right angles, so you just gently position it into position, still feeling some resistance from the ribbon cable. Now, can you tell what I've forgotten to do? I have forgotten the stage, right? So that's how it's going to go. But before we do that, you can see, look, it's folded the ribbon cable now, which is nice. But before we do that, we just want to put the remaining part of our piece of adhesive onto this flat area here next to the clip. There's a flat area that's going to stick on the underside of the board and hold the board in position. Stop it dropping out basically. So you put it on like that. Take off the backing. He says. Okay, so now we've got a nice sticky area, and then we just line up the pegs, fold it over. Your ribbon should go naturally. If it feels like it's resisting, you've got it in wrong. But if you've done the, the uh, correct assembly steps, you've completed them properly, you're just push it in position, right? Squeeze the whole thing in. Squeeze it there. That's it, job done. So now we can remove our cover. So 
So we've got a nice shiny uh, control. There. You're ready to go. So that's how you assemble the uh, Sound Dock 10 HD SD 10 HD uh, controller into your Sound Dock and get audio files, sound, Bluetooth HD quality sound in your Sound Dock 10. Right. And yeah, so thanks for watching. And uh, any problems, uh, if you can subscribe, if you're interested in anything else on this channel, you can uh, um, just press the uh, titty button down on the right hand side. And if you've got any questions, uh, make sure you can see what you're doing. But if you've got any issues, then contact support at imbibo.com. That's an email address, obviously, support at imbibo.com. There we are. There you have it. I hope you enjoyed that, and uh, good luck with your installation.